if you're a small business, if you're a small travel agent with 10 employees, is your priority recruitment, retaining staff retention? Um, you know, are those, have those priorities overtaken sustainability? Is sustainability a nice to have? What are you hearing from your members? What's the reality of you know, what we want and hope to see that everybody's looking at sustainability or is it very different? Yeah, well, I think, you know, going into, into the pandemic, you know, companies were moving at a very different pace in this. And uh, I'd say the smaller companies, the travel agents were, were kind of moving at a slower pace. And then obviously, you know, the last two or three years have been just about survival. You know, there hasn't really been any travel. Uh, but, uh, you know, just, uh, you know, reduced numbers and everything, they just really had to focus on on that and you're right you know coming out now they're still you know uh, low in resourcing and uh, haven't really been able to give this uh, you know, priority i think also you know we have to be honest about the customer position on this customer awareness is rising you know we do research lots of research on customers attitudes towards sustainability and it definitely you know, it's it's a hygiene factor i would say in the uk if you call say 41 percent out i'd rather you know, given two companies, I'll take it from the one that's got the better sustainability credentials, but it is still a price-led market. You know, we're not seeing people either paying a premium or, uh, or, or really driving, you know, the travel agents to say that's 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 the quality I want because it's got sustainability credentials on. Um, but, uh, it, but there is a rise in consciousness, particularly, you know, I was very interested to hear the kind of biodiversity, nature discussion earlier, because again, that's an aspect to it sustainability that has really come into the dialogue, which wasn't really there 10 years ago. It was very much about carbon, it was about the environment. Uh, and people see it, this is our luxury. One ecosystem is, is much more common now. So, um, you know, for the larger companies, it is definitely a priority for reasons I said at the beginning, because they know they're going to get hit with higher taxes or higher costs, or, and there are you know, multiple standards now that have to be met, which they have to observe. Um, you know, when we, we have our annual convention and we, we've talked about sustainability for many years and we used to get the sustainability experts in the room. Now we get the legal directors, we get the finance directors, we get the chief executives because they all realise this is going straight to their corporate uh, brand. And, um, is that because regulation is forcing them to look at this? Yeah, I think they do have an impact. You know, when the, in the UK they introduced regulations that if your turnover was above £35 million, pounds, you had to have a modern slavery statement. What were you doing with your supply chain? To make sure that there were victims of modern slavery and that focused people's attention and you know it'll be the same with emissions uh you know going forward so you know our government is using a kind of carrot you know here's, here's some investment but also a stick to say you know, you're going to have to meet these regulations so you need to focus on it um so i think um you know it, for those of you it's definitely a priority uh i would say as you go down Customer behaviour is starting to, to awareness is starting to make uh, you know, uh, independent travel agents realise they have to be able to answer questions and, of course, manage their own offices and their own businesses in a way that's sustainable too.